Referee Dan Moverheady about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds in the Cage Warriors welterweight division. Marius Mikulajewski in the black. Josh Flash and Wardy in the white. A happy anniversary to Dan Moverheady. Recently celebrated a wedding anniversary with his wife, Helen. Congratulations to the happy couple. There's that kick from Miklajewski. You've got to watch that. He loves going to the body with it. And he packs an incredible amount of power. You know, Onwadi initiated that clinch there, and Arias very, very quick to defend. But onwadi has got him in a pretty good position here, trying to pressure him up against the fence. Might look to try and take one of those legs out from the inside. There you go. There's the leg into top position. Very nicely done. Straight the half guard here. And this uh, very early in the fight as well. These guys are going to be as dry as they're going to get. It's a great position to hold here and try and start to do a little bit of damage. Plenty of time to work. Four minutes still on the clock in this round. Omordi right in the sun corner as well. Perfect cage position. In interesting use of double underhooks there. Back into the full guard. The double underhook's a great position, but really you want to be in a, a butterfly guard or something like that to really use them. In, uh, in full guard now, expect, uh, well, be watching out for an angle change. He's controlling the wrist here. He's thinking about a triangle. He's got to be careful of the angle change for the arm bar. So is that a cage, please? Watch your head, please, Josh. Otherwise, Watch if wrist head. control comes in, be looking for the triangle. There's the angle change. Repeated warnings there for Miklajewski to keep those toes out of the cage. It's a difficult one, isn't it, to, to try and, you know, when you're stuck in the corner there and you want to be moving. And it's almost hard not to get your, foot, your, your toes in the cage when you're, you're trying to push off of it. Stay there, stay there. Josh, please watch how you come down with your head, please. Josh, and a warning there to a wardy. Just going to mind his P's and Q's with that head position. Last thing we want is an accidental cut from a headbutt. Harris looking to set up a Kimura here. A tough position to try and get it from. He tries to use a hip bump, and that gives uh, on Wardy enough space to try and pass off of it. Now he's doing a good job to get back to his knees to try and stand up from here, but Omori is just on him and straight into the mount position now. Beautiful transition there. From here, Maris needs to be very careful about turning the back and a great position to strike from here. Just two minutes left in this round, which is going to feel like a hell of a lot longer underneath mount. Lots of time for Josh Omori here. Harris does a good job of regaining that half guard position. There's still a, a, a great threat from on top of, uh, of ground and pound. But you're not going to have that threat of, of losing the back position if you try and turn away from it. And Omwadi very happy to sit inside of the closed guard and throw elbows from there. Dominant performance so far. Yeah, and this is exactly what you want to do against a proven finisher like Mikla Juski. Got, got to Just watch, get in the there, put it on him early. To see some progression here, that's, a, that's exactly it, and Onwadi is really shutting a lot of these attacks down, and you can see uh, Maris is getting pretty tired underneath there and not really having too much of an answer. He is, throwing, he is sort of positioning himself for some attacks. You can see another triangle attempt there as he pushes the wrists and throws the legs up. And I did say earlier, you've got to watch out for that triangle, and, and he gets a good bite of it, but Onwadi just so powerful, lifting him, lifting him off of the mat. And, you know, th that is the correct thing to do off your back, to be offensive here, to be attacking, to try and create space, but... And Wardy is, is, is taking away space when he needs to and, uh, and staying tight when the, uh, when, when the time is right for that as well. A power attempt there, but it gives the space for Wardy to pass in the side control. He might look to step over to Mount, but if Marius is probably going to try and regain half guard here, and I think Wardy is going to be very, very happy to allow that because you know he, he is just looking to, to land damage from here. You might see the right leg try and sneak back on the inside. There's the transition into Mount. Back into three-quarter mount here. And back in the half guard. And Onwadi doesn't really mind. Onwadi just being asked to pick those shots by the referee. 
And this is a very strong first round. Very strong first round from Wardy. He'll end it in a dominant position. It's going to be very interesting to see now how Marius is looking as we head into the mid and potentially late stage of this fight. He went the distance in his first amateur fight in 2017. Got to round three in his second amateur fight and the only fights he's had since then have all ended early in the first round. So that coupled with the general lack of activity we've seen from him as a fight in 2017, one in 2018, two in 2019, one in 2020 and one in 2023 really hasn't been that active. So is he going to be in the same kind of fight shape as Josh Mordi, who's been competing very regularly during that time period? Marius really showing that, 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 that back leg, trying to get a reaction. We, we can be pretty sure that Onwardi is going to try and clinch again. He had so much success on the ground that there's no real logic to not trying to take the fight back there. Miglajewski's corner calling for that big kick. Onwardi trying a little trip there. And there's a level change there. and Now he's making him move a lot. Lots of feints, lots of reactions here. Oh, nice great hand from, by Omwardi. Uh, interesting there, Miklajewski stepping back across the cage and calling Omwardi back out into the centre. Oh, I think that Omwardi wants Marius to, to, to really engage. He wants him to, to let loose with some strikes and give him the... close the distance enough that he can get his hands on him. And there you see the power off the backhand of Marius. Yeah, that landed nicely. The corner were asking for that, a bit of power from that backhand. They got it. And Woody does seem a bit tentative. Got to work here, gentlemen. And when you've got a guy like Marius, who's, who's got that single shot power to put you down to the head, to the body, you've got to be careful. Wow, you spoke about the power and we could see that Awardy was very respectful of that power, but he well, managed to find, we were talking about one shot stopping power and there's a famous, a famous Irishman once said, call me Mystic Brad because I predict these things. He was really waiting and looking for the time and then throws this absolutely perfect knee. And, and you could kind of see the blank expression on Wardy's face when he got hit there. Good stoppage from referee Dan Moverheady and Wardy still down, wow. receiving medical attention. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Daniel Moverheady, calls a stop to this contest after two minutes and 10 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by a way of knockout in the blue corner, Marius. Mikolajowski! Right.